This is John Schroer for the Colorado Springs Gazette. A private home caught fire on Monday in the Black Forest neighborhood just miles from where the Black Forest fire began last summer. But firefighters were thankfully able to contain the blaze before it spread to nearby trees. Okay, this afternoon we were called to a structure fire uh, here at Milam Road just about the, the intersection of Burgess. Uh, a passerby called it in as smoke directly to our station. At that point we notified El Paso County Dispatch and began a full north group fire response. Uh, we responded very aggressively to this fire. At this point, it has not expended to the forest. There are no injuries, either to people or to animals. And this, at this point, there's heavy damage to the structure, but there is no threat to the surrounding neighborhood. It looks like the fire started when the homeowner placed hot ashes in a metal container and then placed the metal container next to dry bushes. There is significant damage to the structure. The structure is still standing, uh, but much of the interior has been fire damaged heavily. Many of the walls have had to be opened. At this point, we're estimating that even though the structure is still standing, this is probably a total loss. Uh, there were two people home at the time the fire was reported by bystanders. Both of those folks were able to escape successfully. The two homeowners were assisted in their escape by a Colorado Springs police officer. We're trying to find the name of that officer so we can give him proper credit for that assistance. Uh, today, it was very important, of course, not only to try to limit the damage to this structure, but also to prevent the fire from extending to the rest of the forest and threatening the surrounding neighbors. The response today was very quick because Black Forest Station 1 is only about two miles from this location and it's a straight shot down the road. The sight of smoke, the smell of smoke in Black Forest uh, gives people a lot of anxiety. It always did before last June, but even now more so. We're very aware of that. Yes, it's very important that if anybody sees smoke, whether it's a red flag day or not, it's very important to notify someone. Often we hear people who say, I'm not sure if I should call 911. That's okay, call 911. If you're the third caller or the fourth caller, it's all right, but you may be the first caller. And it's very, very important to get that call because until we know that there's a problem, we can't start to solve it. For all the latest news, like Gazette.com on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.